This video explains how to extract beta coefficients, also called standardized regression coefficients, from a linear regression model in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two to seven of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame object called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print the first six rows of this data frame to the console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the console that we have created a data frame that contains four columns, whereby the first three columns, x1, x2, and x3, three will be used as predictor columns and the fourth column y is our target variable. Now let's assume that we want to estimate a linear regression model based on these data. Then we can apply the lm function as you can see in line 10 of the code. And within the lm function I specify my target variable and then I specify that I want to use all the other variables in my data frame data as predictors. And then I'm storing the output of the lm function in a new data object that I call my mod. So after running line 10 of the code, this new data object is appearing at the top right. And now we could calculate certain summary statistics based on this model object using the summary function. So after running line 11 of the code, you can see a summary output at the bottom in the RStudio console. So this summary output already shows certain information about our model. However, it does not show our standardized regression coefficients yet. So if we want to calculate these regression coefficients and if we want to extract these coefficients from our model, we have to apply the LM function in combination with the data frame function, in combination with the scale function, and we have to apply these three functions to the model of our model object, my mod. So after running line 13 of the code, you can see another output is appearing at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this output is actually showing the beta coefficients that correspond to our linear model. Alternatively to the code that I have explained in the first example, we could also use the lm.beta package for this task. And we can do that as you can see in lines 15 to 18 of the code. So as a first step, we need to install and load the package. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 16 of the code. And now we can use the lm beta function of the lm beta package. And we can apply this function to our model object that we have created in line 10. So after running line 18 of the code, you can see that another output is returned. And this output is also showing the standardized regression coefficients. And as you can see, these coefficients are basically the same as in the previous output. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.